Welcome to this series of webinar. In this webinar, we will learn about the routine care of a newborn baby. The first four weeks of life are crucial for survival of newborns as they have to deal with complex physiological changes of extra uterine life. Care provided during this period improves the chances of survival and lays a healthy foundation for rest of the life. Hence, it is essential to train healthcare providers mothers and family members to provide evidence-based routine care to a newborn. The objectives of this presentation are to identify routine care components and provide evidence-based care to the newborn baby. The components of routine care include immediate care in delivery room from birth till 90 minutes, postnatal care from 90 minutes to 24 hours, day-to-day -day care family education and discharge. Immediate care in delivery room from birth to 90 minutes is covered in separate module on newborn baby's care at birth. In this module, we will discuss postnatal care from 90 minutes to 24 hours, day-to-day -day care, education of family about taking care of baby at home, routine follow-up, identify danger signs and when to return to healthcare facility. We shall also identify when to discharge the baby. Throughout the routine care, in hospital and in home, maintain warmth, normal breathing, provide mother's milk and prevent infection. As these four are the basic needs of every newborn baby. Now, let us learn about postnatal care from 90 minutes to 24 hours. Maintain warmth and keep the diet together. Administer IM, vitamin K. The vaccinations include hepatitis B to be given intramuscular, BCG to be given intradermal and oral polio vaccine. Again, one should screen for danger signs and manage accordingly. If no danger signs are present, a detailed head-to-toe assessment should be performed. In the day-to-day -day care of a newborn baby, we need to teach parents and family about warmth, exclusive breastfeeding, maintaining hygiene, providing cord care, monitoring newborn baby for the urine and the stool on daily basis and family education. Now let us learn about how to maintain the warm chain. Ensure that the temperature of delivery room is between 25 to 28 degrees Celsius. Newborn care corner temperature is 28 to 30 degrees Celsius and the postnatal care area 25 to 28 degrees Celsius. Postpone bathing for at least 24 hours and keep baby clothes and well wrapped with head covered. Breastfeeding. Continue exclusive breastfeeding day and night at least 8 times per day and up to 6 months of life. Assess and ensure good attachment and positioning. The picture in the slide suggests good attachment and good positioning. We shall further understand their details in the webinar on feeding. The mother who had C-section should start breastfeeding as early as she can respond to her baby, ideally within first hour after birth. HIV positive mother should be educated about feeding as per country guidelines. Cord care. Educate parents to perform hand hygiene as per standard steps depicted in the picture before and after the care. Advocate not to put anything on the stump and fold the nappy below the stump level. If the stump is soiled, wash it with clean water and soap. Dry with a clean cloth. Daily look for signs of infection around the cord stump like pus discharge, redness, swelling, high temperature more than 37.5 degrees Celsius associated with other infection signs. Immediately seek medical care if any of the above signs are present. Now let us learn about maintaining hygiene. Clean the face, neck and underarms of the baby daily. Delay the bathing at least up to 48 hours in normal newborns whereas in preterm neonates it should be delayed till the baby gains weight of 2.5 kg. Do not bathe the baby if baby is cold. Keeping the baby dry especially after bathing or cleaning. 
discourage the traditional practice of putting kajal in the eyes. To prevent diaper rashes, prefer cloth diaper. If buttocks get soiled, wash and dry thoroughly. Related to urine, the newborn baby usually passes urine once or twice in 24 to 48 hours of life. If baby does not pass urine, by 48 hours, we need to evaluate the baby for the possible congenital anomaly, especially if feeding inadequacy does not seem to be a possible reason for decreased urine output. Related to the stool or the meconium, newborn passes first meconium in 24 hours after birth. Initially, it is black and sticky and later it turns mustard and yellow. If there is delay in passage of stool, for more than 48 hours, evaluate for imperforate anus possible Hirschsprung disease, intestinal obstruction due to meconium plug syndrome, family education. It is the key component of the routine care. We need to build the confidence of the family in taking care of the baby at home. Teach parents how to keep the baby warm. This includes covering the baby well, avoiding contact with cold surfaces and cold air. Keep the baby close to the mother. In the same room, preferably in a same bed, that is called bedding in. Parents can be taught about kangaroo mother care for stable low birth weight babies. Details of KMC have been covered in the separate webinar on KMC. It includes teaching when and how to give prescribed medications and teaching parents to bring the baby back to the healthcare facility if any of the following danger signs are present. We shall learn about these danger signs in a separate webinar. And we need to ensure that the family has understood these danger signs before the baby is discharged. Also educate and prepare the family for the routine follow-up, assessment of weight gain and immunization. Now, let us learn when to call for follow-up. We need to call the family, baby and the mother for follow-up within 48 to 72 hours between 7 to 14 days and finally at 6 weeks. Scheduled additional follow-up visits after 2 days if the baby had additional problems like breastfeeding difficulty, low birth weight, red umbilicus, skin infection, eye infection and the baby is not gaining weight, thrush or any other problem. Whereas if the baby is feeding well that is 8 times per 24 hours, the baby is stable and baby has no danger signs. Mother is confident in taking care of the baby and she has understood the need for follow-up and to report in case of emergency, we can discharge the baby. Remember, never discharge the baby without ensuring that family has understood all the danger signs and know when to return to healthcare facility. So now, coming on to the key messages, the survival of newborn depends on the meticulous and time-bound care provided in delivery room. Ensure that the four basic needs that is warmth, normal breathing, mother's milk and prevention of infection is provided throughout the routine care. We need to empower the family as family is the ultimate care provider. <music>